Hey everybody, Eric here with Chester Personal. Um, I'm having a discussion with somebody, um, and they're asking me, um, how God can be omnipotent, uh, which is all-powerful, and also want something, also have desire. Um, now I, I explained to this person that the desire um, is only good, you know, that God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit only want good, uh, never bad, only good, and this person, and I'm not offended, I'm glad this person is asking, but, um, they're saying they feel it's incoherent, and does not make sense, um, I misunderstand, I don't understand, because, um, just, just because God is all-powerful doesn't mean he can't have desire. If he did not have desire, he wouldn't have came down and died for our sins. God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, 3-1, you know, God would not have sent his son t to die for our sins on the cross if he didn't have the desire to have a relationship with us. So, therefore, to say that God cannot have desire, that Jesus and the Holy Spirit cannot have emotion and desire. It's a contradiction, and it's not true. Um, you contradict the Bible when you say that, because God sent his Son to die for our sins, which is because he has a desire to have a relationship with us, to... Um, yeah, I mean, um, okay, for anybody who is not a Christian, here's background. Adam and Eve, first people in the world, you know, God, uh, I mean, made Adam and Eve, but, um, Adam and Eve could do anything, anything, absolutely anything, um, except one thing, okay, don't eat of this tree is, you know, God was like, hey, don't eat of the one thing, one thing, don't, don't do this, well, they did this, okay, and sin entered the world because they disobeyed, um, and ate of the fruit, okay, um, so therefore, since sin entered the world, mankind was, I mean, was sinful ever since then, um, you know, I, I mean, the law was not, I, I mean, the law couldn't save, um, you know, uh, that God real. you know, God was like, hey, w one thing has to happen, you know, um, and I have to send my son, you know, that's what God said. So, God sends his son to die for our sins. God wouldn't have sent his son, though, had Adam and Eve not, you know, not sinned, um, and so therefore God has desire, desire to save, desire to have a relationship with us, desire for us to be in a relationship with him, desire for us to love him, desire for us to follow him, God has desires. I can't make this any more clear and any more simple. Um, I am not offended, I am not insulted, I am just greatly, um, upset for anyone who does not realize that. Um, you know, it's, God has desires, so therefore sent his son. Plain and simple. Um, but, um, <clears throat> sorry. Oh, just got done eating. I hate that uncomfortable feeling in my chest I get. Um, after I'm done eating, and I don't even eat a lot either, I don't eat that much, so, I just don't have the capac capacity to eat a lot, um, anyway, okay, this person said, it, but, uh, because if w one wants something, and one is omnipotent, it happens, hence, the want, just because it happens, doesn't mean they don't want it. Sure, they can make it happen. 
however they please. That that doesn't uh, that doesn't de deplete the want. That's what I'm having trouble with. It does not in any sort of way, nor can it delete the want. If God wants, then God wants, you know, and God can get. But God gave us a free will. Um, it's, you know, uh, want exists in time. We want something until we get it. Such a God is outside of time and hence cannot have wants. Um, God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit um, have no beginning, no end, Alpha and Omega. Um, our beginning, our end, you know, uh, are the beginning and end. Um, God created time. <coughs> Sorry, um, my voice is really raspy right now, and, um, I'm just uncomfortable. Um, so, he cannot want something he can't have. He cannot want something he can't get. Desires are a lack of something. Well, let's look at the definition of desire. Okay. Uh, if, okay. Desire definition. Um, a strong feeling of wanting to have something or wishing for something to happen. A desire to work in the dirt with your bare hands. Now let's look at that statement again. Um, desires are a lack of something. No, I think desire is a... Well, it's want, well I know desire is wanting something. Desires are not a lack of something. Um, a strong feeling of wanting to have something or wishing to uh, uh, wishing for something to happen strongly strongly wish for want <coughs> excuse me I'm, I'm sorry um uh, I'm uncomfortable I I hate that feeling after uh, just the feeling of my food digest Ugh. I'm strongly in tune with my body um I've come to realize that okay so a lack of something is not what's being expressed here. Now, if you're saying um, that because you don't have it means that you lack it, then yes, I guess that is, but um, that's... Uh, okay, I, I see what that, you know, but... Anyway, um... So, okay, I, I'm sort of wrong on that one, but, and, and I'll admit it, you know, but, um, if one desires one, then one lacks something, hence, one is not perfect. That doesn't mean they are not perfect. Uh, it does not mean God is not perfect. Um, one, yeah, God, okay can, I mean, God desires for us to want Him, for us to love Him, for us to live like He is, okay, to, to be like Him. That does not mean God is not perfect. God is perfect, and, and makes no mistakes, and because of the, the fall, of man because of the Garden of Eden because of Adam and Eve sinful men you know sinful beings sinful humans however God is perfect okay that is a people problem not a God problem okay um, God is perfect okay um, the fact that he desires does not mean he is not perfect desire itself is not an imperfect thing, okay, um, okay, God's perfection is not, um, it is not, what's the word, it's not conditional, 
Okay, God's perfection is not conditional on the fact that we, you know, uh, it, it, it's not conditional on whether or not he desires and also has what he desires, okay? Um, okay, God, you know, I know you're trying to say that God, because he, um, you know, I understand, okay, omnipotent, I understand a little bit possibly why you're confused. Omnipotent, why can't he just snap his fingers and get what he wants, right? Well, because he loves us, okay? Because he loves us and he gave us free will. He gave us that will to choose, okay? The will to choose. It, it's not... I don't know. It, it's just... Because, you know, just because God doesn't force us, you know, um, doesn't mean anything. It means God loves us. That's it. Strictly, that is it. It means God loves us, okay? Um, at any moment, God can snap his fingers and get whatever he wants. But he chooses not to make us do things, okay? That does not mean he's not perfect. If anybody has a said something they'd like to add, please leave it in the comments below. Um, that's all I got for you, okay? So, hope it helps. God bless. Take care. Love y'all.